All right, good evening, hoes. And if this is not a whole conversation, I don't know what is. You know, this is S S O T H on a very intimate level. So we are going to be talking about, you know, okay, so here's what happened. And you know, I was thinking about date nights. You know, we all do it. You know, when you come, when you were in the space of like doing videos, there are certain things you do seasonal. You know, you do date nights, you do notes, you do your favorites. And so I was like, let me do a, you know, a date night kind of vibe, some of my favorite date night fragrances. And as I was thinking about it, I then went, I started thinking about it, I said, no, nah, let's, let's go deeper than that. Let's not just say, oh, let's do the fragrances. Let's talk about a vibe, a mood, a, a, a moment. So instead of just talking about date nights, I thought about, but what about those more intimate times? You know, those late night dates, those, you know, we together dates. We're just, you know, we're doing our thing. As opposed to talking about, you know, getting dressed up and going out to dinner. What about if you're in the home, when you're at home? Or if you're on a staycation and you're surprising. And this is good if you're surprising your partner with a little staycation in town and you want to like have this whole little mood in the room. You know, we're just gonna be in here, babe, doing our thing. Well, this is for those moments. I thought somebody need to talk about this on a more mature level because you know we have the sneaky links videos we have the eggplants appointment videos but let's just talk about it with the elevate that conversation to something that's just a little more grown so that's what we're doing today so if you up for that, come on in. Now, I think we're going to bring down the lighting just a little bit for the mood that we're going for. So let's get started. All right. First things we're going to talk about in creating this mood is lighting. And lighting is going to be about creating that you know, ambiance in the space that you're in, right? So, hear me out. I know the first thing you're going to say, candles, of course, Lou. But hear me out about candles. If you're going to do candles, I want unscented candles. No scent. Do a lot of them, but make them unscented. And now the reason why I'm saying unscented is because we're going to be talking about your fragrance on you and i want you to be the fragrance in the space not the candle fragrance because then that you are competing with another scent and you're not going to win because that is heated up and it's radiating through the room so no 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 we're going to do unscented candles now if you real extra like me i'm gonna show you i'm about to give y'all some game you're going to make these lighted orbs. Now, let me tell y'all, these are so simple. I've done these. I do these, and these are great if you're doing a dinner party, anything like that where you want to have, you want to have, you know, nice ambient, you know, ambiance lighting. Perfect. So let me tell you what I do. This is a jar from the Dollar Tree. So this is about dollar, dollar twenty five now because we know the Dollar Tree has gone up. So I get, I have a bunch of these. I need to get a few more. And then what you do is, now this is a little different. Normally I use metallic shred because um, you can fill it up. And then, and for the lighting part, and the reason why I like the, the metallic shred because it's like really just over the top and abundant. Now I had this in the house. This was like one of those things you hang up. So you can use anything, but you wanted to have a metallic sheen to it because it gives that light reflect reflection. And for the lighting, these are what I use. These are little LED lights. 
I buy them and they come like this and there's a whole, there's like all of them in here. Pull it out and then you just light it up. The reason why I like the shred is because like on this one, and I know this is so extra of me. I don't like um, the actual, that part, the, the, the switch to show. I don't like the switch to show. So to do, to have that happen, I, um, you know, so I like it full so I can hide the switch, but it's fine like this. And then you want to make a few of them, like, you know, depending on the space, this should be the lighting for your space, because this will give you this beautiful, sexy lighting without it, or with, with an ambiance that, you know, is just kind of like sparkly and um, unique. Now, in order to get these, um, I'm going to put this, I have my link to my Amazon store, I'm pretty sure, in the description box. Go to my Amazon store and you will find these. And if you haven't been going to my Amazon store, you need to go because, honey, I have all kinds of stuff. I need to do an Amazon video. Don't worry, I'm going to get y'all. So, that is the lighting. So, next up, let's talk about the look. Listen, Linda, you have got to be, from head to toe, sexy as hell. Let's just say that. So we're going to assume your nails are done, which mine aren't. Your feet are done. You got to have them soft, pretty feet for these situations. But I'm going to assume you do that on the regular because I know my hoes take care of that. All right, so you have that. But let's talk about the look. So, of course, we're talking about intimacy. We're talking about being in a space where we are alone. So, don't come out here with no t-shirt and panties unless that's a vibe that he likes. And you got to make sure them panties is on points, y'all. But if you want to really go for it, let's go with something like this. Now, this, now, I'm putting y'all on game. Hit she enough. I don't go to the rest of them. But Shein has affordable nightwear that you can get in all different styles, different colors. They change it up all the time. I said every time I do a Shein order, I got to do at least one new set like this from now on. Because, you know, nightgowns and everything. Because that's just a really simple romantic vibe to give all the time. I'm just saying. You don't have to be wearing, you know, the flannels and the leggings and the t-shirts around Get you some of this kind of stuff. Some that's just strictly for the bedroom if you got kids. And some that's just very loungy, cute. So that you are giving a vibe all the time when, you know. Now, let me tell y'all about this one. I'm going to give y'all a quick look. Now, this one, this one is for that moment. Because look at this. We giving straight side boob. You see that? So there is all kinds. That's why I got to make sure I keep this on or I'll be giving y'all a show. But anyway... So I like the ones that have the two pieces, the the nightgown and the robe, so that you can be very like, ta-da, you know what I'm saying, ta-da. So that's the other piece, the look, is just being just as in the moment, beautiful as you can. Now, here's a trick. Here's a trick. If you don't wear them all the time, Get you something really, really, get you like a cute little toe ring. Just one. You don't need them on both feet. But if you want to, fine. Get you a cute little toe ring. Because in these moments, it's all about the visual. Um, and you don't want to have on things that are going to grab. So take off the, your fabulous charm bracelet, that Pandora you got. You want to be a little minimal, yet still glamorous. So rings are good. If you must wear something on here, make it very minimal but splashy. You know, just a little minimal splashiness. You know, be ready to take it off, though, when things get heated up. I'm just saying. But anyway, give the whole look. So that's the first part of the look, the outfit. All right, so now we are going to talk about the face of this look. Now, we're at home, right? We are not going to be doing full face because let's be honest, 
the end goal of this look and vibe is to be intimate and we're going to get a little, and you know, it's going to get a little hot and we don't want to be transferring, you know, on our face. No, no, no. However, we do want to be, you know, just, we want to make it a little more so they understand, you know, I put some, you know, you want to give that effort sometimes. Like, you know, if this is like stay at home birthdays, we're hanging out for the anniversary together. We got a little hotel room. You know, sometimes, listen, sometimes we can do all of this and it's on a, a nice budget, but still give that vibe. You know, we don't have to go. It's not about going to the, you know, high end stakeout house to have romance all the time it can be about just being at home and realistically real talk we need to you need to be able to do this because some that that those are the moments that really count yes you can go out and get dressed up and look beautiful and do all those things and you all can go and do that and be glamorous but the times that really count are the moments when you are just by yourself enjoying each other's company giving a vibe and all those type of things and putting some effort in because I think so often we live these lives of yes we want to have it but we want to put in minimal effort to get the things we want and if somebody is special to you give them this because you know that you know you want them to feel like it's all about them and it's not about going out in the streets and looking good it's about I'm looking good just for you boo just for you whoever your boo is all right so now that was my thing so now let's talk about the look now you could do this you know we could do this but mm -mm, we're gonna jazz it up and we're gonna do a quick jazz and we're gonna do one that's just really minimal that works with this vibe okay now let's talk about i'm gonna take these glasses off because we're gonna be talking about makeup we're gonna give I'm gonna give y'all a look. So let's do this. Okay. Now, first things first, we are not putting on foundation. Nope, we're not. Because foundation, you know, transfer and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our skin looks good. So I'm assuming we are all doing good skincare. And if you are not, don't worry, I got y'all because we're gonna be doing some more skincare. Once I get settled, once I know where I am and can straighten and get all organized again, even if it's in this space, don't worry, boo. I got y'all. So first off, let's make sure that skincare is good. Skincare is the, sp is the beginning, right? So hold on. So now, this way, this I'm about to show y'all is gonna be one of the most easy, breezy, um, friendly to, you know, everybody, easy breezy. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little sparkle on the eyes. We're not gonna do a whole lot, you know, cause we know that I could go deep and we can be here all day trying to put on some eyeshadow, but we're not. We're going to use one of these. These are some I love. These are from JCAT Beauty. These are the Prism Metals. I use these all the time. Um, and this is called Melted Crystal. So what you want to do is get you something that's just a little bit, um, just has a little sparkle to it. Color Pop does super shots. I think they still do them. And they're good for this. Um, so you just want to find, and I'm using this one because this is just like, it creates a little sparkle. And so we're just going to put a little on. And then we're just going to, just bring it up so my eyes have just a little bit of sparkle just a little and we're going to do it on both eyes just a little bit of sparkle right now if you are me, you might zhuzh it up and put on some eyeliner, but honestly, you don't need it. So we're just going to leave it right here. For the, this, I'm going straight minimal. And we know minimal is hard for me. So now, lashes. So you can either do eyeliner or you could just leave it just like this because this is going to give you just a little sparkle on the eyes, just enough to zhuzh it up, just enough to get some, you know, the vibe going now. 
make sure if you don't you can do eyelashes but i'm gonna go real minimal and i'm gonna give you all some some recommendations so you want to if you just don't want to do that and you're not good with lashes that's fine we're gonna do some mascara so what you want to do is use a lash lengthening mascara because you want your eyes to pop but in a very kitten-like natural way so the recommendations i have now i gotta be honest i don't carry a lot of uh, mascara because i just haven't been doing it however if you all need it i can do a tutorial on how to boost your lashes with lash primer the the tricks and tips let me know if you want it so anyway first things first use a lash primer if you can get if you have it the best ones are um l'oreal's lash primer and i will try to put all the the listings because i'm trying to be real thorough i will try to put the listings of certain things the recommendations in the description box for these sections so l'oreal lash primer or lancome lash primer now that makes sense because l'oreal owns lancome so yeah whatever so if you know just go and get get the more inexpensive one now for when it comes down to mascaras here's the two that i love i love on the inexpensive i love essence lash princess the green one put a picture up here and then uh, lancome masseur big that's one of my favorites so those are, but right here, I got this um, lash boosting formula, Grande Mascara. So you want to make sure that you do this. Now, here's a trick. Now, I um, I keep these here. I have this. I mean, where is it at? Okay. Now, this is a game changer. This is a lash separating comb. I think I get this at Ulta. And so this is what this is. This is a lash separating coat. All right. So we're going to put on some mascara. So I'm going to do one coat and then I'm going to show y'all. And then we're going to keep going. So the thing is, when you're doing it, you want to zhuzh it. When you're doing it, give it a little shake. So here is how you put on some mascara. You give it a little shake on the roots and then take it up. And that will boost your look. And you want to get it at the roots because that gives you a more um, fuller effect. Like that. All right. So now I got some lashes, y'all. Let me finish these up and I'll come right back. Let's just go back to this. Oh, so now the trick that I almost forgot to tell y'all is you want to put on multiple layers of lash or mascara. And you want to really zhuzh it, zhuzh it, zhuzh it as you put it on. And you want to make sure that you are hitting those tips to lengthen them out. Now, the reason why I have this is to separate the lashes. So if I feel like they're clumping up too much, I just pull this through and this helps to unseparate, to separate them. So you get a more wide effect and works now in between coats i do the separation so we're going to fit so i'm going to finish this up and then we'll come back to the next step okay so now we're here we have on our ma our mascara our eyes are done they've got a little sparkle to them right now let's take care of this face but like i said we are not going to put on any foundation any concealer any of those things because those have the ability to disappear to transfer just to be a tad bit messy yes you can set your skin and everything but who wants to do all that and the you know and then who wants to do all that to you know we we talking about having a good time we were we are about to have a fabulous time together so we i don't want to be thinking about transferring my makeup to his clothes you know uh no but we are going to give ourselves a little color so let me show you how we're going to do this color okay so let's put a little color on his cheeks you know let's give us a little color okay so let's do this so what we're going to do is i'm going to make this super simple we're going to use cream products because cream products stay on the skin and they give a very natural look to the skin and they're 
easy to work with, especially with fingertips. So usually I would say get a stippling brush for some of this, but mm -mm, we're going to do fingertip work here, auntie. So this is the Milani. This is their cheek kiss. This is a nude. Now I'm going for... I, I like peachy looks and things like that, but we're going to go with a little new. This is just like here, really. So the thing with these is that you can build them up and they're pretty forgiving. So they're easy to work with. So we're going to start here. So we're going to put a little on our fingers, right? And it's very sheer to begin with. Now you can use anything that you have like this. I just pulled this out. Any liquid blushes, anything like that, because we want to give ourselves... A beautiful look now trick if you don't know where to place it this is for real this will help you with your placement and that was just a little bit but a little bit goes a long way and you just want to dab it on and then work it in boom you are done with your with your blush now here's a trick just put a little right here do a little right here and then make sure and the reason why you do that is because blush is about warm to your face and when the sun hits you it usually hits you right here that's why if you notice if you get a sunburn you get that nose thing that's why so we're going to just give that you can find this at Ulta. Both of these you can find at Ulta. And the Super Shock Shadows you can find at Ulta. I did check to make your life easy. Because I don't the JCAT Beauty ones you would have to order online. But Super Shocks work great. Color Pop. So now we're going to use a Color Pop Super Shock Highlighter. This is in Churro. I don't know if they have this one in particular. Let me just see which ones they have. Because Churro Flexitarian is good. Lunch Money is good. Smoke. No, they don't have this one, but trust me, you can find one that you like. So anyway, you can go into the store and pick this up. This is a shoot, super shock. And the reason why I like these is because these are super forgiving because they're this like like um, hybrid creamy vibe. So you put this on, just go and put this on our fingers again. Just put a little on. And if you see, whoo, chap. So then we're just going to go do this again and then go higher up. And so you're going to wind up with this beautiful highlighting. Now, the trick to doing this well is make sure that you blend it into your blush at the top end of your blush so that it looks very, um, it looks very, you know, natural to your skin. And the, and the good thing is, if you feel like you've done too much, you can always just keep doing dabbing and dabbing and then it's gone so there you go see that we highlight it now trick put a little right here just a little because on your bridge of your nose that's where highlighting happens if you want to go real deep then just do a little on your cupid's bow to bring it out to bring attention to it y'all know what i'm talking about so that is the face. Now let's talk about let's talk about your lips. Now we know that red lips are classic, classic. I the only way you should do a red lip is if you do a liquid lipstick. And the reason why I say that is because the liquid lipstick will stick and not transfer because you know listen you're gonna be kissing you're gonna be having us we don't need first off let me just be real it will start bleeding around your lips bleeding 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 and then it will transfer to him and it's just a little messiness we are trying to be effortlessly beautiful and effortlessly sexy without making things you know we gotta have you know wipes oh let me wipe it off no if you would like to wear red lipstick, go with a, uh, um, a liquid lipstick. But I say don't do that because liquid lipsticks can be drying. So we want, and, and the only way you can make a liquid lipstick look good is if you put a gloss on top, which nullifies the liquid part of it, which then makes it where, you know, 
um it's all over the place it's just it's a mess that's a good look when you're going out to dinner or going out to like a party or something but going at home no i'm not gonna no no we're not doing it so here's how we're gonna do our lips we're gonna go with a natural just sexy oh you want to kiss my lips vibe you know what i'm talking about you they here we go all right so here's how we're going to approach this we want to have a really really cute kind of almost natural sexy soft inviting lips right so the way we're going to do this now you can use any lip liner why don't i put them glass on we're going to use any lip liner, but these are the ones that I like. And I don't think Buxom makes them anymore, which is the one that I want. Now, I'll either go like a mauve or I'll go with a, you know, traditional nude. So we're going to go with a traditional nude right now. So I'm using this plump lip line and restricted. They don't make these anymore, but these are really awesome. So it's just basically a, you know, a big lip liner. You can use any lip liner. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in my lips with this. To give myself a base of color that is not going to move. Because this is a pencil, this is pretty bulletproof. Now I'm going a little bit brighter on my lips because I like my lips a little brighter. But if you want to go lighter, you know, more natural, I would suggest a more brown. I would suggest a more brown or peachy color, but I love this one. So we're going to go with this. So this is a more like almost a terracotta vibe, which is fine because it's not going to move like you look. Watch this. See, it's very minimal. And so then what I normally do is I uh, wipe it down so there's hardly any transfer. So I'll keep till I see no transfer because you just need a wash of color on the lips. Now, to make the lips a little more inviting, we're going to gloss them up. And I love a gloss that has a little bit of flavor. Just a little bit. We don't need it to be super flavored. Just a little bit. And I like ones that have a little color for me. Now, you could go with something with just a wash to give you a beautiful, just this will be your color. Sorry, life happens. I had to do something. Okay, so now I have this on. So now we're going to amp it up with a little color, right? So here's where we're going with it. One of my favorite gloss lines is Dose of Colors because they have really good, um, they have a really good, um, the color. One of my favorites lines of glosses is dose of colors i like them because the the color is true on your lips so you so you get a good wash of color it doesn't it's not super sticky and it has a little kind of like vanilla buttercream kind of vibe to the on on your lips so it gives off this little vibe um and so this one is don't be chai and i have a, a i own a lot of them but i just grabbed this one so i would do like this on top of it Give it a good zhuzh. And this is my lips for it. So now we have done the whole look. We are done. We look really, we look really polished and put together without it being too much. You know, this is perfect for home. Um, if you want to wear your lashes, put on your lashes. But my suggestion is when it comes to lashes, Go with something a little more natural. Don't go and put on your huge lashes because you don't need them. You're looking more effortlessly beautiful. So go with a more natural um, look to your lashes. Kiss has some beautiful ones. Ardell has some beautiful ones so that you are giving off that. So now we have our look together. Let's go into the fragrances. One thing, let's talk about where you're going before we before we get into the fragrances. Let's talk about where we are going to apply, especially 
the perfumes. Of course, the body washes and the lotions are all over, but let's talk about where we're going to put these fragrances because, of course, they have a alcohol bottle. So we want to make sure we put it in the right places to create the scent without, but we still want to leave space available for our lover to lick. Okay, so here's where we're going to put our fragrances. First things first, we're going to put a little behind the ear because he's going to be coming up on you and, you know, they're going to be coming up on you and snuggling and hanging out. So you want to have some behind the ear. Don't put it right here because this is where they're going to, they're going to be kissing you, right? Nothing on your chest, nothing right here. Put it behind your neck <clears throat> because all of this is going to radiate from you. So just put a little, you know, put it right behind your neck, behind your ear, behind your neck. You can put it on your pulse points. And the way I do it is I usually do my inner elbow because this is where heat, you know, because of your heat is produced there. I don't do it here because we're going to be holding hands and everything. We're going to be holding hands and you might want to, you know, get, they might want to, you know, you know how it works. So there. Now, let's go on the lower body, right? the two places you want i would say do not put it on your inner thigh because if your love is like my love was in the past and somebody i got in the future they're gonna be right there now you want them to smell it but you don't but they might want to you know put their lips on your inner thigh so let's not make it difficult for them so where you're gonna put it is you're gonna put it on your behind your knee and now you should be doing behind the knee anyway. So make sure you get, get that behind the knee. And then, of course, your ankles. Because, hey, the legs at some point might be in the air. At some point might be near their face. So we need to be prepared for that. So we've got, so that is where we're going to apply our perfumes. Now let's get into the perfumes. All right, so now here is our first fragrance vibe because I wanted to make sure that I gave y'all a full vibe when you all are getting ready for the this for your moments for your in for your intimate to. I wanted to make sure I gave y'all a full vibe of fragrance to layer to make sure that it lasts to give it like you know a very sexy vibe now one of the things that i thought about i didn't want it to be too loud so i some of the things are going to tone down some of the fragrances because they can be very strong um, i wanted them to be a little softer yet last yet smell fabulous so we're going to start off and i was going to do this last but i'm not we're going to start off with two bros and i'm calling this one berries and tuberose so we're going to go with this so this is how we're going to do we're going to do a wash our body wash is going to be into the night moisturizing body wash reason why i chose this is because it has this you know it has um notes of raspberry noir velvety rose petals cream patchouli so it has this really we all know if you know anything about into the night by bath and vibers this is a very sexy um, evening five so this is your first layer we're going to wash to smell all oh, fabulous with our into the night body wash now we are going to layer on our you know our body cream and things now for this because we're doing a berries and tuberose vibe we are going to use perlier's shea butter in the tuberose now if you don't have this a good alternative is Taraji. There's Body by TPH, which is Taraji, Taraji P. Henson's line that is at Walmart. She has a vanilla and tuberose that will work fine. But if you can, if you have this or want to splurge, go ahead and get this. Another one that you could work with is One in a Million um, by Bath and Body Works. Y'all know I love that white floral. So you can use that body cream if you have it. So you want to have a tuberose centered body cream. Now let's talk about the fragrances. I chose this one. Um, so we're going to go with, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. 
So for our berries, we're going to go with Angel EDT. This is the comment version. You can use the other EDT version. That's fine. The reason why we're using this is because it gives that angel vibe, but it's a lighter, brighter, sexier vibe to me. This isn't as heavy and cloying as angel can be EDP, but it gives you that angel vibe, but it's, it's like this light, bright vibe of it. So we're going to use angel EDT. Now on top of it, I am putting this. This is Noir de Tuberose by Miller Harris. Let me go this way so you can see it. All right. Now, this is a stunning, very clean tuberose. So if you're going to do the tuberose, you want it to like mesh with the berries. And what the reason why I want this one is because it's a little greener, it's a little fresher. It's still very intoxicating. And so you're going to have this very buried up tuberose vibe. I promise you it works. It works. I've tried these all out on skin. I've been playing with them for weeks. It works. All right, next up. I'm calling this one like pineapple goodness. We're going to call this pineapple goodness. And so we're going to start out. Now, here's how we're starting this out. And you stay with me. You're just going to be like, what? Trust me. Trust the process. All right, so we're going to start out with almond this is a perlier almond uh, shower cream now if you don't have this because she's she's expensive a good alternative is dr bronner's almond um bath soap body wash <sighs> i love that oh my god that is such a strong and beautiful almond so i love a good almond so that is that is our base going here then we are going to amp up this pineapple. You, uh, you go, you're going to be like, what's going on? Here we go. We're going to take this beloved pineapple and papaya um, body cream because this is really going to amp up this pineapple we're going to be doing. Because we want, we're going to smell like a, you know, we're going to smell like we, you should be eating your pineapples too. And he should be eating it. your lover. Especially if he's male, it should be eat pineapples daily. Get some pineapple juice, something in it. Okay, whatever. Another conversation. All right. So that now, the reason why we're doing that is because here is the fragrances we are using on this this little love, this little this little vibe. The vibe is going to be "Girl of Now Shine" by Elisa. Now this is the brighter version and it has a pineapple note that makes it brighter. The reason why I did all this is to amp up the pineapple in here, but also bring, keep the nuttiness of the almond going. And this is a very strong, so you don't want to put on too much. You want to have on just, you know, one, don't overspray, do one layer of our spray. So this is the Girl of Nile Shine. And then we're going to layer this with Nicolas Parfum's Kiss Me Intense. This is a really sexy, powdery, almondy, vanilla vibe. So this is going to work with all of these. It's going to bring down the, the, the it'll, it'll kind of like amplify the scents, but make it, but also tone it down just a little bit so i know that doesn't make sense but we're going to amplify the notes while toning down the scent so it's not too overpowering so by putting on this kiss me intense on top of the girl of now shine it, it takes it's still going to be sexy delicious but it's not going to be as strong as it would have been so this so this is the bear this is the pineapple almond vibe which is going to have your almonds um, body wash, pineapple body cream, girl of now shine with a little kiss me intense. Okay, next up, next up is summer plum. Now I love plum, but plum can be from a fragrance standpoint. The plums I have can be a little intense, just a little too much. They sexy as hell, but Ooh, they would they could take you out so this one is going to be your summer one because it's still going to have that um, delicious sweet juicy plum but we're going to have it in a way that isn't 
just isn't date night going out by because I had date night plums. This is in the house. So we're gonna start out a lot giving you know we're taking a shower you know we're getting clean we're gonna use Vita Bath Coconut, Coco, Coconut Noir now this has a really rich plum note to it very mm, delicious on the skin so we have that now what we're gonna do for our body cream you know to really amp up the plum but keep it keep it classy keep it cute we're gonna use Dark Kiss and this, of course, has black raspberry, burgundy rose, dark vanilla weed, and a plum musk. This is sexy and deep. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to be giving you all the Bath & Body Works y'all need for us girls of a certain age. So this is Dark Kiss. Real sexy. So it's going to really enhance that plum. That plum is going to be radiating off of you at this point. Now, our fragrance. This is going to be... Goldia, the Roman Knight Absolute. This is a really sexy plum orange blossom based fragrance, but it's not as it's not as deep and rich as some of my plums. This is a little lighter, so this is perfect for these type of nights because it's not going to be so much. It has a lightness to it. And all this plum that you're putting underneath is going to enhance the plum. But the fragrance is just, it's still a little bit lighter, a little bit easier for close moments than some of the things I have, even though those are good too. And then we're going to amp up and make it very summertime sexy by adding on Sun Kissed by Bath & Body Works. And this has orange blossom, so we're gonna pump up that orange blossom, and it has a little salt in it. So it's gonna give it this salty, plummy, orange blossom vibe. Get ready to stunt. All right, it's summertime. You gotta have a coconut vibe. You got to have a coconut vibe. So we're gonna have a coconut vibe right now right here and i'm calling this peachy coconut of course so let's talk let's get them together honey let's get them together so we're going to start out we're going to use both of these we're going to use one we're going to use copper coconut sands body wash and then we're going to layer with the copper coconut sands body cream that's how we start out this one so we're going to be all you know coconutty up but very I like copper coconut sands because this has coconut orchid petals and creamy sandalwood so it's not it's got just enough coconut but it's got this creaminess with the sandalwood so it really punches it up and gives it a more um it, it makes it a little more um not quite as sweet a little more elevated a little more sophisticated that's what i want to say what's going on my hair okay so there so now let's start layering these flame fragrances y'all We're going to stun them. We're going to put on some cocoa beneath. Now, we're going to put on a little. We're not going to overspray this cocoa beneath because it's a, it's a stunner. It's a killer. We're going to do that one. And then we're going to add just a zhuzh of Dolce Garden because now we are up deep into coconuts land. Whew. But cocoa beneath has a peach note. So we're about to enhance that peach. So now we got this coconutty creamy vibe going on and then we're gonna we're gonna throw on this pretty as a peach on top is a fine fragrance mist baby baby be prepared to smell like a summer dessert okay just edible 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 okay we're not even gonna go any further with that all right good all right next up is jasmine and vanilla i know you like jasmine and vanilla yes jasmine and vanilla so here's how we're going to do this we're going to start out with a little vanilla uh body wash and this is the shade soft and smooth body wash if you don't know you need to know if you don't know you need to know this is a really just delicious vanilla and then we're going to slather ourselves in night blooming jasmine body cream <laughs> i think i'm gonna need to get a new one i think the next time they have body care i'm gonna get another one too um but you know what here's the deal um <laughs> real talk bath and body works had a sale 
$5.95 fragrance mist. There's a few that I wanted, but there's still some I'm waiting to come out. That's number one. But my other thing is, I hate when they don't have free shipping. If they don't give me a code for over $50, then I don't want to do it because the shipping costs like another bottle. And that's how, in my mind, I think. I'm like, I'm paying y'all a whole bottle to ship this shit. No, give me some free shipping. I'll, I'll meet your minimum to get my free shipping. So that's why I didn't buy. Plus, I shouldn't have been buying anyway because y'all going to know. Because <laughs> it's a bath and body works all already. Okay, so anyway, night blooming jasmine. But when they do body care, $5.95, and they give me some free shipping, or if I'm just going to stock up, stock up, stock up, stock up. Because there's some stuff that's online that I want. It's one called white jasmine. I got to have it. But anyway, this right here. Um, so this is night blooming jasmine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious for our, our, our um, layers. And so for our vanilla, we're going to use La Maison de Vanille, Vanille Divine de Tropiques. This has a little more tropical vibe to it. It's a really stunning vanilla. I love it. And then we are going to add on to that Atkinson's Jasmine Tangerine. Because this is really a simple fragrance, Jasmine and Tangerine. So it's a citrusy jasmine. And so we're going to do a little more of this to amp it up because this vanilla is really strong. So we're going to do like two sprays of this at, to one spray of the Vanilla de Tropiques to make it really fabulously jasmine vanilla. Okay, so now this vibe is for my ladies who, um, they're not really, you like fragrance, but you like a more clean, a little more fresh vibe but you still want you want but we giving a sexy moment but it, it's worse with your vibe it doesn't have to be coconutty it doesn't have to be plummy it doesn't have to be all those things but you want to smell good and you kind of like a more clean kind of floral vibe i got you i got you now let me tell y'all i know this one is good because i actually wore it out and i got some Oh my God. So, and you know, I don't talk about comments, but I got a lot. So this is the clean girl vibe. Clean, fresh vibe. So we're going to start out with Sea Island Shore Body Wash. Mm. Y'all need to get this. Y'all need to get the Sea Island Shore. This has um, clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, orange musk. It's a very clean, very, it's got a musky vibe. This is just, yeah, this is what it says it is. So here we go, right there. Then we're going to hit you with the Midnight Swim. We're going to use the Midnight Swim Body Cream. These together are just clean, fresh aquatic vibe now for the fragrance i went with this and some kind of like the same color scheme too this is afnan's rare tip you know this is a floral but it's just a clean beautiful floral i first off this bottle is cute um but it's just it just vibes with these because it's kind of got this clean girl vibe right and then i topped it off with a little more midnight swim y'all I was smelling so good and it was just a fresh clean sexy vibe to it that it's kind of unexpected because you think sexy we think vanillas we think um we think you know uh cherries we think you know things like that you know like opiums and stuff like this but this is a really good sexy vibe clean girl sexy vibe just you know effortless you know i just like to smell like this is why I wake up. That's what this vibe is. So it's the Sea Island Shore with Midnight Swim and Rare T Tiffany by Athna. All right, let's go for Island Goddess. Now, Island Goddess is about tiari flower, maybe a little coconut, a little, you know, um, uh, Manoy things like that the car the island gardenias so had to have one of these in this collection in this vibe so here we go so we're going to start out with st ives coconut water and orchid it's going to give you that 
coconutty floral vibe that we're going for, like a hibiscus-y, you know, vibe. I need to do a hibiscus one too. Okay, anyway, sorry, I just had, I digress. Now, for our body lotion, I just got this one and it is so good. It is perfect for this vibe. This is Nivea's Oil Infused Lotion, Coconut and Manoy Oil. This gives off that coconutty, that um, floral, tiari flower vibe. Yes, yes, yes. There we have that one. Now here are the fragrances. This is Judith Bieber's Exotic Coral. People sleep on this one. I swear to God they do. Don't nobody talk about Miss Judith Lieber, but this one has that very tiari flower. Vibes like Holidays by uh, Mancera, much, much more inexpensive. Even though you get Mancera pretty inexpensive, this is even more inexpensive. So this is exotic coral. Tiari flower, coconut, it's just sexy on the skin. And then we are going to punch it up with this one. I barely talked about this one this year, and this is one of my newer ones. This is Bronze Goddess Nui. Nui, y'all. So this is like the darker version of Bronze Goddess. Very similar, similar DNA, but it's got a little dark, it's a little darker. Definitely for day nights. Definitely heavy on the coconut, definitely heavy on the tiari flower. So all this together gives you this Island Goddess vibe. All right, so that is it for this video about, you know, intimate moments and preparing yourself for this sexy, adult, sophisticated, intimate moment. Because that's what we are. We are, we not, we not playing with the younger, young, young, young kids though. We are elevated and sophisticated and elegant in all these things that we do. So with that being said, I have a few more fragrance layering combinations. I it, it, I just feel like this was going on and on and on and I needed to cut it. Plus that allows me to do another video. Yes, I was thinking because normally I would just throw everything in and then be like, now what you gonna do? So now I have a few more and I'm gonna work on a few more so that we have 10 more vibes. So, all right, I hope this, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I gave you some tips for the vibe that you're coming with. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or two. Let me know you made it this far because this is deep, deep, deep into this video. The end of it. All right. And as always, because this will be a premiere, thank you for hanging out with me. I always love our conversations on our Sunday nights to get our week started. And if you don't make this, and if you made it this far and you didn't make it for the premiere, hey, when you can, just pop on into a Sunday night premiere. We have a great time. And as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. This whole is out.